Hey there, just a little editing going on here at Pilates Andrea, and I've realized, you can see it, I'm doing it right now, I've realized that when I was filming, I cut off a little bit of my head when I was talking about what's on deck for this week of March Madness! So, all of the mat exercise content is intact, but this week, we are in week three of March Madness, and we have on deck, on the Ides of March, March 15th, we have the neck pull. Oh no, beware the Ides of March. And then we're gonna take it all the way to the 22nd of March. Um, I'm sorry, the 21st of March that will end this week with the teaser. It's quite a banner week. Oh my God, I'm cutting off my own head here too, huh? Uh, but anyway, so from the neck pull, taking us all the way to the teaser at the end of the week. and. I will join you on the mat. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I'm gonna to descend to the mat properly. If you've got a strap, use it. And I'm a big fan of a little assist in this exercise. So I'm gonna do a couple first and then I'll talk about the assist. So you wanna feel like you reach your whole back line of your body out your heels and that helps you pick your stomach in and up on the way over. You'll stretch three times, you'll sit up tall for longer than you'd like to, and then you'll roll down. And generally we do about five in the sequence. So if you do five neck pull today, you're golden. So you'll stretch three times, you'll lift and sit up super tall, and then you'll roll down. And maybe I was like this for a long time. Maybe you have a point where you roll up and you get a little bit stuck, and there's a great assist you can give yourself, especially if you have a strap, because you've got that and the assist you're gonna give yourself. So if you've been watching for a while, you've probably heard my little lecture about this. So you're gonna curl up until you feel like it's prohibitive, like you couldn't roll up anymore and you're just gonna lift everything up in a big chunk. Use your hands, pull your stomach away from where your heels are reaching, and use your upper body to kind of bring your, the top of you over so the low back and the low body doesn't come all together. And then you'll continue per usual. And then if you need that assist on the way down, if you feel like you're gonna crash to the mat, use your hands for support, suck your belly in and roll down. I'm gonna do it again. And if you're teaching someone this, they're gonna to wanna to blow by it and you have to kind of really insist that they make themselves useful and help themselves. So you'll go here, you'll pause, because you wanna grab on so you can really use your muscles to bend. And then once you get past that sticky spot, you'll put your hands back. And lift up tall. And then you'll roll down, control yourself to the mat if you need to. And generally people will just curl up and throw it like counterbalance with their arms to like lift themselves over. And that's really not much better than skipping the spot. Um, so you, sometimes you have to insist that they pause and pull in and not blow by the part in their back. Woo! Okay, that's about enough neck pull. <laughs> so let's move on to the scissors and bicycle. And I believe I have a tutorial or a Struggle is Real collab on the scissors and the bicycle. So I will link that in the info box below as well. So from the neck pull, you're gonna take your hips over, you're gonna place both your hands on the low back pointing up to the ceiling, and you're gonna use your bottom to make yourself light in your hands. And then really one leg is moving, the other one is just steadfast and reaching up. You'll stretch one, two, and return it. Lift your bottom like you have to go up and over your back with your leg, or up and over your butt. And you know, just a few sets, don't get crazy up here. And then as you start to do the bicycle, your hips are gonna kind of tip out a little bit as though you were your own spine corrector. And your bottom is still helping to hold you more than your hands. And then you go the other way. So I kind of feel like there's a lift of the bottom and a reach of the leg. And then to get to your shoulder bridge, Version one is just roll down, place your feet, roll back up again, and place your hands underneath if you like, and then continue to your shoulder bridge. Let's do the shoulder bridge now, and then I'll do some other transitions. So stand on one leg, close the buttocks, and you'll do three times with each leg. And 
and then you just place your arms down, roll your back nicely. You can kind of indulge in this for right now. <laughs> okay, so if that's pretty easy, you can roll down, lift up into your shoulder bridge, not a problem. Let's do it a different way. So you'll lift up your bottom. You've finished your reverse bicycle. And you're just gonna take one leg at a time down into position. Meanwhile, your fingertips are moving out to the side as you get into position. So that's version number two. And then version number three is both legs at the same time. So you finished your reverse bicycle. You're gonna lift up your bottom open up the front of your hips and thighs as you bend your knees and then try to go to the mat as much as you can without a big noise and meanwhile your fingertips will change to the outside and you continue with your exercise so those are your three ways of getting there and now we're going to do the spine twist this is one of my very favorite exercises lately and I like to pretend that I'm doing the twist on the stomach massage because it helps me feel like I can really push my lower body or reach my lower body into something like on the reformer. So I'm just going to sit up super tall and I'm going to exhale and twist as far as I can. And then from there to get more twist, I'm going to imagine my lower body goes one way and my lift goes to the ceiling and I'll twist a little bit more. Take a big breath in, lift as you twist, exhale, 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 and reach your lower body and lift your upper body. Two more sets. And then we'll talk about ways to get more twist. Ah, oh, and other nice things like that. So sometimes this turns into a little bit of an arm flailing exercise. And so sometimes it's nice to just not care about your arms and lift your waistline and your fingertips to the ceiling. And then try to twist so much you face the side of the room. And then lift a little bit more and try to twist and face the side of the room even more. Oh, and sometimes if you have a reluctant lifting side, this position will help it. So you're not so worried about your shoulders. They might go up as you're trying to wrangle this lift of the lower body or the low waistline, I should say. And you just try to lift up more and twist a little bit more. Oh. And that really feels delightful. And sometimes it's nice. Sometimes I do that in a mat class instead of being really particular about the precision of the twist in that position. Sometimes it's nice to just help people lift up out of there to see how much maybe they have to lift that they didn't know. So that's a nice way to work on your twist. As long as you shore up the lower body and make sure that it's not, you know, doing a little dance down there. <laughs> okay, so this is a fun week. Let's do the jackknife. <laughs> And of course, if there are versions of these exercises that you that I don't mention that you would like to ask about in the comments, I love what's going on in the comments right now. So please do ask me questions. It's perfectly all right. Um, if you have handles, we'll use it for the jackknife. And it's nice here because if you have handles, because you can just kind of concentrate on the uh, rhythm of the exercise so that you can go over and up and then roll down. Over and up, and roll down. And you can certainly start stop at 90 degrees if that's more, uh, if that feels better to you. Okay, so now 
let's look at the side kicks. We're just going to do the basic variations, front, back, up, down, and the circles. And all the stuff you've just been lifting in the spine twist and hauling up overhead in um, the position of the jackknife, we're going to use now in the side kicks. And let's talk a little bit. Um, I filmed my previous two videos before the announcement that we are in push-up madness. What does it take to get to be able to do the push-ups at the end of the mat? So we're going to talk about that too. However, stepping stones along the way, sitting up tall in the spine twist will help you to lie on your mat in a tall back shape so that you're not loungy. You're just doing what you did in the spine twist this way, except now you are lying down. So stand on your feet, lift up in the waistline, and then we're gonna do the front back. And then press your heels together, find the inner thighs in the bottom, inner, um, up, down. <laughs> and then try to keep the bottom as you make a nice circle. We're gonna do three in each direction. And then on to the other side. Can anyone guess how this will help our push-up? Oh, I'm excited. I kind of am liking the push-up. I'm kind of liking the side kicks. This position is a little reminiscent of what we're gonna do a little bit later before the push-up, but in the same position. Can you guess? Let's go to the up-down. If you can guess what the other position is, the other exercise where you're like this, and you can take this little cue from it that has to do with the push-up, guess in the comments below. I'm very excited to find out. And then the other direction. This is the bad side, so I did a little bit more. Okay, so did you guess the exercise? More on that next week. Okay, so now let's go to our teaser. Oh, it's a good week. Okay, so let's start this week with teaser one. So the arms go up, everything comes up. Arms lift, the legs stay up, the body rolls down. And this is just one of many teasers you could choose for today. Don't be daunted by the phrase, many teasers. <laughs> and you know, let's do a teaser two while we're at it. And then we'll save teaser three for, well, you know, once you get started, might as well do them. Okay, keep a nice lift as you lower. And now we'll do teaser, teaser three. That was diabolical. Woo! Oh, it's gonna be a good week. Thank you so much for watching. And let's just talk a little bit about on our road to the push-up. This is one of my favorite topics. It's all connected, a little Pilates project to the push-up. So what can we take from our neck pull to get us to the push-up? Hmm, there's, I feel like there's no wrong answer. There's only, you know, better and better answers. So I would have to say 
that all of the strength in the lower body that you build in the neck pull, because that's really what's holding you in place, that's what's going to then walk you up and down and do most of the push-up. Remember, the push-up is not an arm exercise, it's a full body exercise. You're standing on your feet, so you can do all kinds of easy things with the upper body. You can let go and clap, you can do all kinds of crazy push-ups. So the strength of the lower body in the neck pull, and then that's going to get built upon uh, getting strength in the back of the body, lower body, and stretch in the front of the lower body to make a nice long plank position in your push-up that you're going to find in the scissors and the bicycle, just kind of opening up the hips and the thighs and the front of the body. The shoulder bridge, you're going to that's like the ultimate in opening up the front of the hip and the thigh. And you're also kind of using your upper body in a way that's gonna make it a very nice controlled and kind of integrated position when you do get to the push up. You're building up kind of flexibility in that area, in, that, in those positions. And then of course your spine twist is working on the same shape of the back as the push up, albeit seated. seated but you are trying to make a tall, lifted, long body shape. And the jackknife is again working on the flexibility in the lower body. And what you do in the jackknife, yeah, as you know, this is you doing the jackknife. <laughs> so just kind of turn that onto its feet to kind of look at how you're going to roll down and walk out and come back up again for your push-up. So it's kind of mobilizing that area and getting it ready to go. And these are sort of just ideas that are coming to me currently, having just done the exercises. Uh, when we get to the push-up, maybe I'll realize, hey, there's that thing from earlier in the workout. Uh, side kicks, I think, are my favorite because I was asking you if what you thought about when the leg goes behind you, what would that look like if you were in a plank position with the leg behind you? Oh, a little Pilates foreshadowing <laughs> to next week. Yes, I think to next week and the leg pull. So see, I gave it away already. But sort of play with that. Side kicks, leg behind you. What if you were in a plank position? What your body would be doing? And then, oh, the teaser. You can tell like that's strengthening you to stand in your lower body, st strengthening all of the lower body as you go up and down your various teasers, getting you ready to mobilize for the push up. So, yay, I love this Pilates game to play with the mat exercises. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great March Madness so far. Maybe you've done some exercises that you thought, hey, the last time I was into that, I, it wasn't this good. I love when that happens. <laughs> so thank you so much. If you'd like to see more videos like this or you want to join me for the next March Madness video next week, do become a subscriber. Click the bell icon and you'll never miss when I upload a new video. Thank you. I will deliver videos twice weekly. Tell your friends, all your Pilates peeps, your clients. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Pause. Continue. Open. Lift. Together. Roll down. Pause and then you would finish the exercise. So that little pause in there is a nice way, if you're used to kind of barreling through that exercise or using momentum, it's a nice little check for yourself to see if what's exactly getting you up and over